Hey guys, this is Transformers Kid 2, back with another video review. For now, we're looking at Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Mud Flap. Uh, I don't have his brother out right now, because Big Bad Toy Store. Okay, I ordered these guys on June 16th. Um, I actually ordered the entire uh, wave of Deluxe figures. They didn't ship until late July. I have seen them all over the stores, um, but to make up for it, you may or may not be able to see this. That says mud flap. It doesn't say tracks. It says mud flap. Um, so it's more movie accurate. Uh, and it has a big booger, butt poo thing, whatever. So here is mud flap in his vehicle mode. He's modeled off of these Chevy tracks. A fuel efficient uh, little sedan, uh, mini truck, jeep kind of deal. Um, it reminds me of the Honda Element, and I absolutely hate the Honda Element. So ugly with this two tone, but on this, it doesn't look too bad. Um, it rolls pretty well. I'm just gonna take out this booger. Oh, it just slots. It just goes into the slot right here. Just stick it in there. Yeah, we'll set that aside. Um, he rolls pretty well. It's pretty nice detailing. Looks like the actual car. You got the tail lights and everything. The back window is translucent. It's very rare for Transformers. Honestly, I don't know if I like him or Skids better. Um, I'm kind of a little biased to Mudflap because I like Mudflap better than Skids. Just because. I don't know. <laughs> I like him equally, but I don't know why. I just like him better, the, l the look of him. I think it's the wings. But, yeah, he's orange and kind of a grayish color. Like silver. Black translucent windows. Uh, yeah. Um, let's transform him. Let's start by taking out his poo. A little constipated there. It's a nugget. It's a turd nugget. We'll just uh, take the door. No, not yet. <laughs> it's just like skids. Um, just bring the legs down. And we'll take these bits and fold them out. I'm just going to raise the camera. And we'll just take the doors and fold them down this and I'll separate this just get the doors all the way under for now and take this panel just flip it in before you forget and when straighten out the legs just like skids fold these back and then bring the foot down the feet were actually on the wrong foot or leg when I opened it so the the small toe should be on the outside. So just do the same over there. Alright, that's good. Um, here's where everything starts to get a little tricky. We'll fold the head uh, out and we'll finish rotating it. And kind of rotate the wheels inward and the arms will come out uh, as well and at this point want to flip these doors up to become the wings and just peg everything together the same you know, thing going on except it's a lot easier and just collapse it and Right there, that little square hole will go onto this clip right here and hold everything together. Okay, there we go. And flip up the hood. Stand them up. Just straighten out the arms and all that good stuff. Get the doors positioned. Uh, 
And there is Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Mudflap. Um, you know, he's just as small as his brother, except now he has wings. There he is compared to Jet Power Prime in Legends class form. But yeah, very cool. The head sculpt just looks like a sad puppy. And he, of course, has the herper, 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 herp, derp, derp. Scared of your ugly face with twins, smart ass. Mm. I, I know he doesn't say that, but. So yeah, you can make him talk, make him look like he's talking. It's kind of fun gimmick. Uh, if he had skids, you can make them communicate and stuff. But yeah, uh, as you can. Oops. He's not held together as well as skids. Um, his head works. This gimmick works a lot better than skids than going like that far with skids. Um, articulation is basically the same. The head can rotate and move up and down and herp herp derp. Arms can rotate and move in and out. These kind of hinder these little things here. Hinder it. Uh, rotate, bend at the elbow, swivel at the wrist. The giant arm has hand articulation and thumb articulation. Everything else is the same. Legs move up, back, out, bend at the knee, swivel. And the feet are on ball joints. Supposing so him is This is a simple task, um, except all the dynamic poses just don't work with his character. So, uh, gimmicks, he has this missile, you take his fist and you push down on his fingers and this gun pops up and the armor splits. And you can put the missile in, and it fires pretty well. Let's get a view. It's got decent amount of power. So yeah, this is a great figure. I can't decide if I like him or Mud um Skids better, but I do like Mudflap. I like both of them. Their figures are like exactly the same but one has wings and gimmick wise works better. Um, I'm gonna have to say go with both. But if you can only choose one, uh, I might have to say skids. Uh, but if you want something a little easier, mud, uh, mud flap, I find him to be a little easier than skids. So, yeah. Great figure overall. Um, it's not held together as well. He does have a backpack. Um, okay he poses very well and especially if the mud flap if you can find the mud flap variant that says mud flap instead of tracks definitely go with that one instead um, but yeah this guy is great figure highly recommended uh, he should be easy to find at any store that has transformers I've seen him a lot at Target and Walmart uh, not so much at Toys R Us however uh, KB Toys? Oh, too soon? <laughs> I'm sorry. That was mean. I like KB Toys. I miss them. But, uh, yeah. He's a great figure. Looks cool. Fun to play with. All that good stuff. <laughs> His face is just funny. There. Yeah. So, final thoughts great figure, looks like the actual movie, get it maybe, um, he, there's a Human Alliance one that's going to be way better, I can already tell by the picture, it's going to be amazing, um, fun to pose, easy to transform, lots of articulation, gimmick wise, it's a pretty cool gimmick, it's, it's better than Skids, uh, gimmick, Skids is gimmick. He's a little small for a deluxe, about the size of Legend's Devastator. Maybe a little bit taller. But, uh, it's not huge. It's around 10, 15 bucks, depending on where you get him. If you can find him, go pick him up. If you can find the Mudflap variant, definitely get that one. It's more movie accurate in that sense. It's not a big change, but it's there. Um, but all the versions I've seen say tracks. I got this from Big Bad Toy Store. Um,. Speaking of which, go buy there. They have the best. And if you're going to buy there, go get the collector's grade. This is collector's grade. Packaging is amazing condition. 
So anyway, Transformers continue on out. Mudflap, go pick them up. Uh, see you guys.